Hello everyone and welcome back to another Raspberry Pi video for the Progressive Kids Raspberry Pi course. Now for this video we're going to be going over how to install Raspbian onto your micro SD card for your Raspberry Pi. Now Raspbian is the operating system that your Raspberry Pi runs. You can think of it as basically uh, the system that your Pi runs to be able to turn on and run all your programs. Kind of like Windows or Mac, but I mean Windows or Mac OS, but for your Raspberry Pi. Now for this video, you're going to need uh, two things. You're going to need one, a micro SD card. We recommend at least 16 gigabytes or more. A either a micro SD card to SD card adapter, or if your computer doesn't have a SD card slot, you can instead use a micro SD to USB adapter, just like this over here. Either one of those works, you just need some way to plug in this micro SD card into your uh, laptop or desktop. All right, hey everyone. So as you can see, I'm on my computer now. And quick note, since I recorded that introduction, the name of the Raspberry Pi's operating system has actually changed from Raspbian to Raspberry Pi OS. So that's what I'm gonna be referring to it from now on. Anyway, before we get started, I'm gonna click on File Explorer and then this PC. And you can see I've got my micro SD card plugged in, new volume. Uh, it might be something else for you, that doesn't really matter. Uh, what does matter though is make sure you don't have any important files on your micro SD card uh, before you begin this process because we will have to wipe the micro SD card. So any files that you may have will be deleted. So make sure you don't have any important files on your micro SD card. Anyway, to get started, I'm going to open up Google Chrome and uh, in the search bar, I'm going to type in Raspberry Pi Imager. And then I'm going to click on the very first result. Alternatively, you can just go on to raspberrypi.org slash software. And you can see right here, Raspberry Pi OS. Your Raspberry Pi needs an operating system to work. This is it, Raspberry Pi OS, also previously called Raspbian. Anyway, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on, go under install Raspberry Pi OS using Raspberry Pi Imager. I'm going to click on download for Windows. And now Raspberry Pi Imager is going to be the software that is going to allow us to download and install Raspberry Pi OS onto our micro SD card. All right, so I'm just going to click on the installer. It'll open up an admin uh, panel. Just click on yes. And then click on install. Wait for it to install. And then you can click on finish. It should open up Raspberry Pi Imager for you. If it doesn't, you can just go into the search bar and look up Raspberry Pi Imager. Um, but I have it opened up right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on under operating system. So I'm going to click on choose OS. You can see there's a whole lot of options. We're just going to stick to the basic Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. And then under storage, I'm going to click on uh, generic mass storage USB device. This is my micro SD card that I've plugged in. Uh, if you have multiple devices, make sure you're clicking on the micro SD card. You don't want to accidentally wipe um, some other drive that you have plugged in. Anyway, I'm going to click on that because that's the only option. And then I'm going to click on write. Again, it's going to tell us that all existing data on that USB drive will be erased, but I'm sure that I want to continue. So I'll click on yes. And now just wait for uh, Raspberry Pi imager to write to your micro SD card. All right, so once Raspberry Pi imager is done writing, you should see this pop up, meaning that uh, Raspberry Pi imager was successfully able to flash Raspberry Pi OS onto your micro SD card. Now we're almost done with the installation process, but there's still one more step that we need to take. Now, one way to interact with the Raspberry Pi is by plugging in a mouse and keyboard and plugging the Raspberry Pi into a monitor, and that's one way you can interact with the Raspberry Pi. However, the way we're going to connect to the Pi is through using an Ethernet cable and plugging that Ethernet cable into a computer or laptop that you already have, which enables us to use the keyboard and mouse on your laptop that you already own without having to uh, grab another one for the Pi itself. Now, to do that, we need to actually enable a service called SSH on our Raspberry Pi in order to connect to it with the Ethernet cable. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to go into the start menu and look up Notepad. And I'll press Enter. And I'm actually not going to write anything in Notepad. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug and then plug back in my micro SD card and then I'm going to go under file save as and then I'm going to click on this PC then I'm going to click on my boot volume this boot volume is where all of the uh, installation files for our Raspberry Pi are stored so we're going to click on that and then I'm just going to name my file SSH uh, no extension nothing after that and then save as type I'm going to click on all files so SSH all files and then I'm going to go ahead and click on save so now if we open up a new file explorer window and then click on this PC boot and scroll down we should see a file called SSH now stored in our boot volume now what this does is when we turn our Pi on for the first time, it's going to enable the SSH service so that we can connect to it through the Ethernet cable. All right, once you do that, you can just go ahead and eject your uh, micro SD card. And at this point, you've officially been able to install Raspberry Pi OS onto a micro SD card. So congratulations and stay tuned for the next video where we go over connecting to your Raspberry Pi.